Well, how's it going, everybody? I'm out here on the lake, and uh, look what I brought. I did. I brought the Nemo out here, and uh, the water's low 60s, and uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to do this and get in the water. So uh, y'all stay tuned, and uh, let's see what we can find out here. I brought the Legend out here too, so I may do some shallow water detecting with it. Um, but uh, man, got the pulse dive. And uh, if anything, I'm sure there's trash in here. The last time I was in this water and in this lake underwater was in June of 2021. It's now April of 2022. So uh, let's get in there and clean it up. Here goes nothing. This water's chilly. So, uh, I got out of the water a minute, um, changed batteries. Uh, I still got two, two light, two light bars on this one, but I went ahead and changed it because I'm going to get back in. I want to get a fresh battery and all, but, uh, got out, got a little snack and, uh, man, I got a pile of stuff over here. Anyway, uh, there's one little thing I want to talk about here and we'll talk about it in just a few minutes, but I'm going to get back in the water, see what else we can find. And then, uh, we're going to do a little commercial. So. See you in a second. All right, so it's commercial time, and uh, yeah, I know I get stuff every once in a while in the mail to uh, review. And here's another one. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, y'all got a video, maybe three weeks ago now, you got a video of a Kona. A Kona sending me that backpack, that uh, dry back, dry backpack or whatever. Um, I got another one here. This one here is a Kona, and it's called the Atacama. A A T A C A M A. So it's got four A's in it. But anyway, this is uh, made by Akona. And again, they do a lot of dive gear. They sell a lot of dive gear. Matter of fact, it's just called Akona Adventure Gear. But they do sell dive gear and they sell these backpacks and stuff like this and these dry bags and stuff. And I've got a couple more I'm going to review over time. This one is a dry stuff sack. Um, but anyway, uh, details uh, it's got a welded seam construction. Um, and then also, it's got this little handle here on the bottom. And uh, this is handy if you're just going to carry it, whatever, just one handed. You can carry it right here. Y'all see that handle there? Um, 
but it's got this little strap that comes with it which i like because i can throw it over my bag i can throw it over my back i mean just like so let me show you you know throw it over your back or you know over your head and that way you know you can travel with it but yeah i like how this thing slings over your back and uh you can you can wear it like a backpack or whatever uh, it's a 20 liter volume it's 20 liters and uh, there's the name right there but uh i like it i'm gonna hang on to this one I'll, I'll use this one uh when i go out you know like i'm doing today out in the water and uh doing water stuff i'll hang on to this bag but this one here is more practical for me because i normally carry some sort of backpack and i can always just grab this bag and grab it right here and go with it anyway i'm gonna eat some lunch and uh get back in that water and uh we're gonna get get round two with that battery and uh we'll go at it Everybody, the wind is killing me right now. It's a real windy down here at the lake, but uh, check out those things, man. Those things actually still can be adjusted and worked. <laughs> they were underneath rocks. I'm sure y'all saw that. And of course, there's that watch I found. And uh, it's not an apple or anything, but it's a smart watch. And I found that early on, that right there. And everything else just trash. So uh, I think somebody's been out here and metal detected the uh, the shallows probably late summer so they wasn't any coins anybody been out there in the winter time during during the winter lost any coins so but that's my that's my best finds all day right there that's pretty cool hey we're gonna end this video here and uh man we just had a good time out here today and uh finally got to get back in the water i, I would say the water's probably 61 62 maybe 63 degrees it's cool but with that three mil wetsuit i have it it makes it bearable and uh, if you stand still and you're down there and you're digging or whatever your body temperature warms that water up that's in the suit but when you start moving around again it cools back off <laughs> but that's just the way it goes but uh, man i had a good time finally got back out of there in the water with that nemo again it's gonna be hard i know i told y'all i'm probably going to spend all the time in the water but it's gonna be hard not to pull that legend out and go to these properties that i have with uh, some of the properties that becky has uh, helped get and some of the ones that Dustin has helped get properties there, um, and, and then some of the ones that I have. It's gonna be hard not to go spend some time this summer and finding relics and stuff in them old properties. Probably will, it'll probably be a, you'll probably get a Saturday video of me in the water with a Nemo, and then maybe the next Saturday, Saturday you'll get a video of me relic hunting with the Legend or Simplex or something. Um, but I'll, I'll be back and forth with it, back and forth, um, but anyway, Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And, uh, man, it was cool finding that watch. That was awesome. And then that big old monkey wrench. I'll put that thing back to use. But, anyway, hope you have a good day. God bless. We'll see you next time. And always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated. See you.